What's up my friends? Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's what's for dinner video. I know it's been a while, huh? A couple weeks. Well, let me tell you why. Most of you may already know. My husband Jeff had to have um, knee surgery. He had a meniscus tear and so that means he has been home throwing off my meal plan. I don't want that, but I don't want that tonight. Okay, what would you like? So it's been it's been that. And now I'm recovering from shingles on my face, of all places. Isn't that wonderful? So, <laughs> it has been a whirlwind around here. We've just been taking it day by day. But I do have some meals that I want to share with you guys that we have eaten and enjoyed. And if you know me, it's in true Jennifer fashion. If it wasn't quick and easy, it didn't get made. So... If you are interested in seeing any of that, won't you go ahead and stick around? And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I share grocery hauls, meal plans, what's for dinner videos. Also, we've got some pregnancy updates in the mix here and some day in the life videos. We just got a whole lot going on. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe before you leave. We would love to have you as a new friend here on this channel. Make sure you hit all notifications and you will not miss any of my future videos. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. We're gonna get on into this video now, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. So first things first, I went ahead and popped some of these shrimp poppers into my air fryer on 380 for about 10 minutes. Also used the fajita size of flour tortillas and some Fiesta blend cheese. And I made myself some tartar sauce because I realized I didn't have any and yeah. Also, this is the Nor pasta sides Spanish rice. I went ahead and made some of that up. So the only thing I did guys was once I got the shrimp poppers ready, I just went ahead and put them in the flour tortilla and loaded them up with a little bit of cheese. I threw them back in the air fryer on 380 for about four minutes and dinner was done, you guys. This was so simple and delicious. So first thing here, I'm going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of olive oil into my large pot. And next I'm going to go ahead and add in a one half of a chopped onion. This happened to come out of my freezer. And I will go ahead and saute this onion until it is nice and tender. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I wasn't sure how this would turn out because I am not a huge fan of Italian sausage, but stick with me here, you guys. I wasn't sure about it and it turned out amazing. So I'm adding in one pound of Italian sausage here and I'm gonna go ahead and break it up and get it browned up nicely. Once I have that brown, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one tablespoon of garlic. I waited until this step to add the garlic because I always burn garlic. Anybody else? All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and add in four cups of chicken broth. This is actually the Better Than Bouillon. I've been using that and loving it here lately. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that combined well. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of my pan here, or my pot here rather, to kind of deglaze it somewhat. All right, now that that water's boiling, we're going to go ahead and add our other ingredients, which is 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes and two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. And of course, I'm eyeballing it because I'm too lazy to get a tablespoon out. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to go ahead and stir to combine these ingredients and allow this to come to a boil. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of orzo pasta. 
we're going to get that mixed up and then we're going to go ahead and cover and cook this for about eight minutes to allow the pasta to become tender. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in two cups of spinach. I wasn't sure how my family was going to deal with this, but nobody complained. So, and we got our greens in. Win-win. <laughs> I did go ahead and chop it up just a little bit so it wouldn't be so large in there, but you know. All right, now that I've got the spinach in there, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and allow it to cook for about two minutes. And at this point, I was supposed to cut my burner off. I didn't, but I don't really think it made a difference. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in one fourth of a cup of half and half. I'm gonna let that um, get combined in with the other ingredients. And guess what, y'all? Dinner is done. Was that not easy? Highly, highly, highly recommend this soup. I did go ahead and add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top and we went ahead and had us a good old grilled cheese sandwich on the side. You guys, my husband raved about this ridiculously easy meal. For I can't tell you how long. Y'all gotta make this if you haven't before. Here I'm starting out with three to four potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and boil them because we're gonna make mashed potatoes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pop open a can of corn and heat it through. And obviously, you wanna add some butter in there because butter makes it better. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in this banquet popcorn chicken into my air fryer. And I will cook that for about 10 minutes on 380. And as you can see here, the bag is totally whooping my behindy. I can't get it open. I'm trying, I'm struggling, and we finally got it. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this packet of brown gravy mix, and we're just going to make it according to the directions on the back of the packet. I think it was a one cup of water, and you just add it in there, allow it to heat through, and it'll thicken up for you. Can't ask for nothing easier than that. All right, my potatoes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and we'll get started to getting them mashed up and mixed up together. So for my mashed potatoes, I really don't have a recipe, but if I had to guess, it just depends on how many potatoes I use. Here I'm using three to four potatoes. I think I used about a half a stick of butter and about a cup of milk and then I added salt to taste. So I want to give credit where credit's due. I did see this meal over at Kelly's Corner a couple of weeks ago. She made a video kind of talking about all of like the dupes from different restaurants like Big Mac from McDonald's and things like that. And when I saw the KFC bowls, I knew that we had to make them because they look delicious. <laughs> All right, you guys, and here it is, all ready to eat in my bowl, and I'm going to tell y'all, it was really, really good. The gravy is what just threw it over the edge. Try it. You got to. You guys, I did not film making my Sloppy Joes this night because I feel like everybody knows how to open up a can of Manwich, but I did want to share this lovely sandwich with you guys because it was so delicious. And how about that brioche bun and those homemade air fried french fries? Yes, so good. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have 
found some meal inspiration to share with your families in the upcoming weeks. Make sure you give me a great big old thumbs up down below if you enjoyed today's video. Leave us a comment and show us some love. I love chatting with you guys down in the comments. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week. And until next time, keep them fed.